Hello, welcome to Board Games with Nero Us. Now, I'm going to play some Terraforming Mars, but first of all, <laughs> I, I have a new microphone. I got myself one of these uh, fancy microphones. So I hope that the sound is okay. Please tell me in the chat if there is any issue with the sound, if it's too low, too high, or anything like that. Uh, let me know so that I can adjust it. Because it's, it's easily uh, adjusted, but yeah, it's hard for my for me to know uh, at the same time as I'm streaming. And it looks like the stream is up and running. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, Hugo, Toast, Sergey. Hey, guys. Yeah, exactly, Sergey. Everybody is excited about turmoil. Um, I'm, I already backed it, of course. <laughs> And I hope I can even get one at Essence Speed so I can get one earlier than my backing. But it's no problem in that case. If I get two, I then I will just give one away to my viewers. Um, yeah, and then yeah, the thirty-four dollar pledge. I think I must say, and I know I am you know a fanboy of Fricks games and all that and Stronghold games, but anyhow, I do think this was a really good price. Uh, I think so because I mean you get. Turmoil, you get those those boards that are like, you know, what's it called? Double layered. That's really cool. And you also get all the other promo stuff, like corpse and cards and project uh, So much cool stuff. I think that's a fair price. Hey, Jason. Good to see you, man. And let's see if I can get... Now I got some issue with my... Uh, my chat is acting up. I don't see all the chat messages. There we go. Now I see everyone. Uh, okay, so now let's get started playing. I'm going to play solo, of course. Solo challenge. I love that stuff. And of course, I wish I had some expansions in here. But, you know, I have to do with the base game for now. But I still enjoy it. And, uh, yeah, credit core or Thorsis. Wow, it's, I always get these. Let's, let's just restart. Let's forfeit. Uh, is the sound okay by the way? Tell me in the chat if you can hear me okay and if the sound is okay on the game as well. My favorite expansion... Um, well, my favorite expansion all time and my favorite expansion for Terraform Mars is the same one. It's Prelude. I think Prelude is awesome. I think Prelude was exactly what the game needed. Just make the game a little bit uh, shorter and also not that I mind the length of the game. I mean, I enjoy sitting around playing Terraform Mars. But um, also, it sort of you skip the not boring, but yeah, somehow somewhat boring part, especially multiplayer when you're sitting around and you do one or two actions and not much happens in the base game or or before Prelude. And in Prelude, you get started so much quicker. Love it. Yeah, I think Foblog is the way to go as well. Are they are they called Fobo Fobolog? I always thought they were just called Foblog. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I think they're the way to go. Let's. Just, I love titaniums. Let's hope we find some titanium stuff here. Okay, that was not well. Space station is okay. That's a good one to start with if we're gonna have it. A strategy of going for space tags. Um, I haven't tried the tabletop simulator version, but I reckon it's better here I mean keep watching and you'll see how it works because everything is automated here you don't need to move stuff around and all that okay commercial district is a cool one um, and wow asteroid mining is <laughs> that, that's a given we have to have asteroid mining if we're going for foblog and I do want to have steelworks as well because we need a way to take care of that uh, oxygen that's always an issue in the solar game um, yeah, okay, I think we'll do that. I mean, if we can find advanced alloys, that's just amazing to get with Foblog. Because now our titanium is plus one. If we get that one, it's plus two. Uh, yeah, uh, I played Helion so much, so. Um, well, Jason, I think it's like with every Kickstarter that they charge you after the campaign is done. So I think that would be in like 14 or 15 days. 
And you can, I think you can always like back on one dollar to get the pledge manager and then you can decide later on. I do that a lot with, with, with Kickstarters in general if I'm, if I'm not really sure which was not an issue in this case. Okay, well, I have to do Space Station first, of course, because then we get a discount. So let's do this. And then we do Asteroid Mining and now we get a discount and all titanium, of course, you know, are worth four. So this is just so nice. Just paying for it in full with titanium. And this is looking good. It's, it's a good start to get the titanium production this early. Really like that. And I think that's it for the first generation. Not much else we can do. So let's pause here and go to generation number two. And yeah, I'm, I'm so excited for Turmoil, not just because it's a new expansion for Terraform Mars, which I, you know, always are, but also because it, I think it will add some stuff to the game that the game hasn't seen before. The game, like the other expansions, added things sort of in the same mechanisms, but just more of it. But this will add something new, which will be really interesting with the whole political part and all that. Okay, Strip Mine, I do like this one a lot. The problem is... You have to lower your energy twice, but I still have to take it because of, yeah, because of titanium production and all that and steel. So let's do that. And and also I should, should say about Turmoil, I think these event cards, like at the first time I heard about, yeah, it's going to be event cards in Terraforming Mars. I was really skeptical because I don't like it in games. I hate games like, you know, Munchkin or, you know, that kind of games. When you're sitting around playing and all of a sudden it's like, oh, this happens. Oh, good. You lost all your stuff because there was a random card. But that's not the case in Turmoil. It's going to be events that you can see up ahead. You know what's going to come, which is just a, such a good design. Uh, it sort of reminds me a little bit about Sulkin, the Mayan calendar, the expansion for that one. Or was it Prophecies and like Tribes and Prophecies or something like that? I have the box for it on my wall somewhere here. Because I have I put the empty expansion boxes on my walls that you might as you might know. Um, but I don't know where it is right now. <laughs> um, yeah, but anyhow, in that one you have these prophecies, so you know what's gonna come. You know there's gonna be something bad coming, but but you can see it up ahead and you can plan for it. I think that's a per great game mechanism where you can see things ahead. Oh we got giant ice asteroid, I'm happy for that. That's an awesome one. Um, but we can't play it right now, but that's a great pets is good as well if we build cities The problem is if we're going for a titanium strategy, I don't really see us building that many cities to be honest I will hold on to it. We don't need to sell cards right now. Let's just pass and go to generation number three Yeah, so turmoil is gonna be awesome and I think uh, I think oh, I hope it's not the last expansion for terraform Mars now I know there's been talk about the legacy, of course, coming, which is just great as well. Just the idea of a legacy game for Terraform Wars is just so awesome. But uh, I hope there will be one more expansion, and I hope it's going to be maps, uh, basically, because I want more maps. It would be fun to just get some variation going. Um, all right. Lord's Convoy is a, is a must. I think Deep Well Heating is a good one as well. I do like Corporate Stronghold also, but we have to, you know, restrict it somehow, so... Um, all right, so uh, Sergey is asking in the chat, um, quite a long question, but I'll, I'll try to do th two things at a time, it usually, usually turns out well. Well, I'm actually just going to pass and save the money. Um, okay, so the question is, uh, why, would you, why are you playing uh, point cards in solo challenge, a solo game of Terraform Mars? Uh, since the game is all about just surviving and terraforming and all that makes sense perfect perfectly you know logical question but when you make it you also get a score and let's say you you know you win a few times it's fun to just you know see how good of a score can i get with this corporation uh so so it's not just about winning it's about like the balance and that's why i love it so much in solo mode because i need to figure out at some point during the game i need to feel basically or or logically you know Get to the point where I where I can say that okay, I think I'm going to win, and if I get to that point and I think I'm going to win, then I need to start working for points, and then you know, cards like pets are really good. 
uh, even though pets you need to play early on and play and plan with all the cities and all that. So, so that's that's the that's the answer to your question. It's is that you you want to get a high score, but it comes at a cost. If you you can't just aim for a high score because then you probably won't even make it, and then your score doesn't matter at all. So that's the balance that is so much fun, and and I mean some, there's a lot of games you know. Agricola, Caverna, Gaia Project, there's a lot of games that I love and I like to play them in solo but I get bored after a while because in the end it's all about points. It's all about like beating your own score, getting a higher score than you got the last time. But in Terraforming Mars it's the balance of both beating your score but at the same time you also need to survive and that's that's just so great. And that's that's why I you know made like 30 something videos when I play it solo on the channel already plus all these uh, digital ones uh, and I played it a bunch off cam as well of course um well I don't really see us doing that much more now I am a I'm a little bit worried about the um, oxygen to be honest we need to get that energy going so we can start using uh, whatever it's called I forgot the name that we can spend for energy to raise oxygen we need to do that as soon as possible Oh wow, Hugo's t telling us here that he got 114 points and they still lost by 3 heat. Wow, that's amazing, Hugo. Um, I had a fun thing last time I streamed on Twitch, because I'm on Twitch now as well, you can check that out. It's it's uh, at BGW Niramas, of course, on Twitch, like up here. Um, and last, last time I did, that was like last week, I think. Um, I played two games and one game I won and one game I lost and the, the game that I lost I had a higher score than the game that I won which was you know that is kind of weird I like this fusion power but it takes one more energy tag so we need to figure out we need to figure out a way to play it but I do like it so I think I'll buy it because right now I have one energy tag I need two to play it but that would be perfect to get three more that would be perfect yeah, Steelworks. It's Steelworks. It's called. I want to do that so we get oxygen uh, because this raises oxygen and gets you two steel. Uh, also, like to do this GHG factory though. I think we'll do that. We need heat as well early on. Um, but that will lower our energy. So yeah, now we need four energy production once again. And this pets card. It's only. What is it? It's only. One VP per every two animals. Yeah, so it's like, well, you can find other ways to add animals, but basically now, no, it's not gonna, it's not gonna pay off. It's not gonna pay off. I'm gonna sell it. This is a multiplayer card. If you have other people putting out cities, you can benefit from their actions. But if you're the only player, it's not gonna pay off. Okay, so we have eleven, which. I think we'll just do a power plant, just get our energy going, because we have to get that steelworks out, it's so important. Unless we can get like a good plant production going, and we can do the oxygen that way, but that doesn't happen that often. Um, it should say, say sell patents, <laughs> I can check later, I can check soon. Oh, here's Giant Space Mirror, love this one. And Mohul Area, two of my favorite cards in the base game. Let's get both of them. Um, it should say, no, it says sell patent. They are called patents, basically. But, well, they are not called that. They're called project cards, but I don't know. The action is called sell patents. So now let's do, let's see. Should we do Lost Convoy? Oh, here's animals, by the way. So if we use, okay, so it only costs us 10. We get two cards. An ocean. I, I want to get giant space mirror going. This is so important. So let's do that. Let's not overpay. <laughs> yeah. Potence is something else, right? I'm a Swede, so I don't understand all the English words, but I think that's something totally different. Let's get another power plant going as well. So we're building up here. You need so much energy in this game. I mean, Energy production is always good, basically. You need it to lower, to be able to lower it when you play certain cards, but also because it will turn into heat if you don't use it. So now we can raise temperature, but we are in, what is it, generation number seven. So yeah, the pressure is on. Nuclear power, once again, a way to raise our energy, but... 
No, 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 no. We don't want to lower our money. I'm not sure we're going to play that many events. So I don't want to get this one. This is for these tags. I'm not sure we're going to play those that much. Methane from Titan, though. This is plant production and heat. And we can pay with titanium. So let's get that one. That's two points as well. Okay, so now we can raise temperature. And let's see. We can get... We have to do steelworks. That, that's yeah, that's a must. And this is a way like we don't have any steel production right now, but using this one every generation with the four uh, energy, that gives us two steel. So this is like having two steel production basically, which is great. Okay, so that's been done, and we've started to work on the oxygen, and we can't do anything else. So that's just it. It was a really quick generation, but. In some ways, I mean, it's 14 generations, but it's not like we're halfway because production wise, the things you get, the amount of things you get done, they don't, you know, they, they increase so much that the, the second half of the game, it's much better. Um, wow, the original titanium tag. I don't even know how that looked. Um, I never, I, you know, I, I didn't play the prototype or anything like that. Uh, oh, best of shipyard. Have to get that one. We have to get that one. Fish is good, but it's kind of late game. Um, grass is pretty good. All of these are good. But I'm just going to go for this titanium strategy. And we're, we start by raising temperature. We're going to get a heat bonus as well. That's awesome. Hey, Bjorn. Did you, Bjorn, did you like how I uh, spelled your name when I uh, named the video I posted earlier today? Where I played... Isle of Sky digitally against Bjorn. Uh, <laughs> and Bjorn is a, has this weird Swedish um, letter called Ö, the O with dots over it. So I thought just for my English viewers, I'll call him Bjorn instead. Okay, Vesta Shipyard, have to do that one. Get it going as soon as possible. Uh, yeah, it was it was really fun to play Isle of Sky against you, Bjorn. Uh, so we should do that again sometime. That was fun. Well, we don't need to record it all the time, but I mean that was that was fun. I I think that game is really good. I really enjoy that one. I like it a lot more than like Carcassonne. So so there we go. Good heat production going. I like that. And even better as we play this one. And now we get some plant production going as well. So uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Famous last words in uh, uh, any cooperative or solo game. But anyhow, let's pause and go to generation number nine. And it goes for you, for the other, you know, everyone who's watching, even if you're in the live chat now, or if you're watching this afterwards, if you want to play a game against me, Terraform Mars or Sight or Isle of Sky or well, what else do I have? Keyforge. Uh, <laughs> if you want to play a digital game against me, even if we are on different sides of the world, that will be fun. So let me know. Uh, you can always contact me, you know, at BGW Nermas on Facebook and so on. Um, security fleet is good, and we do have titanium production and all that, and I, that's a good way to get some points. And I'm feeling good about this game, so let's get a point card, even if it's kind of early so far, but... I hate it when I sit around at the end and I have like 20 titanium that I didn't use for anything. Um, yeah, so let's do this one, of course. I love that we can just keep raising that oxygen every generation. My Steam name is Neramas, I think. Or it might be Neramas 1, like a 1 just after. Now I'm confused. Can I check that somehow? Can I do this? Yeah, it's just near us. Okay. Huh. Um. And I don't think anyone else have that name, so you'll probably find me that way. Let's see. Can we? Oh, now we can do this. Oh, this is interesting. We could do strip mine and fusion power. If we do fusion power first. Then we can do strip mine the next generation. That will give us more production as well. That's great. So now we're up to eight in energy production, which is, you know, overkill. But let's do security fleet. But let's just pay just two titanium because we need one to actually make that, um, you know, the fleet itself. 
So let's do that, and that's a point. That's, I think, that one of the best point cards in the game. As long as you have titanium production, of course. So let's go to the next generation. Um... I, yeah, yeah, these digital games on Steam. Well, this one I didn't get. I bought this one when it came out um, because you know I love Terraform Mars. But uh, I did get Isle of Sky and, and Pandemic and such from Asmodee Digital, so that, that's great of them to send that to me. Here's IO Mining Industries, which is that's pretty cool. I wonder if it's too late though. Is it too late to invest in even more titanium? Oh, it's one point as well per Jovian tag. It has one on itself and we have, oh, we have three Jovian tags. Wow. I got to get this one. <laughs> I might be, sometimes I go too deep into the strategy and I just, uh, yeah, I just, I just overkill it. Okay, well, there's five Niramas on Steam, obviously, but then it should be Niramas one, I think. Uh, we'll, we can sort that out. Um... In private messaging if, if we're gonna play some game and so on and you know okay so let's do this one of course I love getting those two steels there as well it's just so great and then let's spend the titanium here to get a point uh, am I planning to play tabletop simulator um I might I played uh, what's it called the uh, keyforge on tabletop simulator i did that and that you know that was pretty good it's a bit fiddly you have to do everything yourself but you know that's how it is in real life when you play board games as well so i shouldn't complain right now i want to do strip mine for sure uh let's pay with steel so i mean if you have any you know suggestions on games you would like to see me play on tabletop simulator just let me know um, I think if you already know the game, I think Tabletop Simulator works nicely. I think it's tough if you don't know the game and you're gonna because it's basically like playing a board game. You have to set everything up yourself, sort of. At least with Keyforge, I I I'm, I don't have that much experience of Tabletop Simulator to be honest. But let's go for that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think this is so nice. I mean, just this. <laughs> all the the graphical stuff when you play like a you know the water is floating out and all that i just love how it looks and and you know i think it's just a, such a good interface it can of course be a bit tricky i had a friend that that got this uh, um just recently and he was a bit confused and I, it is i mean it's like any game you need to get into it yeah okay it does some automatic stuff okay that's interesting I might try, you know, might try it. Uh, if nothing else, I'll, I'll, I'll like to try it just to, just to show my, my, you know, my viewers how it works. If anyone else is interested, I might try the Terraform Mars on Tabletop Simulator. Um, but I mean, I like the official stuff as well. I hope that I don't know if you guys watching like Keyforge, but I hope they get an official thingy for Keyforge as well, so you can play online. And like only use the decks that you actually registered, so you you prove that you buy you own them. That would be fun, because that's my only complaint of Crucible. The way you, the play the Crucible.com, you can play Keyforge online, but you can just play any deck because you can just get the the link to it on on the official page. And I think that's kind of silly that you can get the super decks. Oh yeah, the tabletop simulator has all the expansion. That's interesting, of course. That's that's really interesting. I'll try it out at some point uh, when, when I feel like it. Um, I think let's do this one. Might be crazy to get titanium production this late, a uh, generation number eleven, but we also get money production and we get points. So there's a lot of good stuff happening there. I do want to get this commercial district out there, so let's do mineral deposit, which gains us five steel for five credits. That's a good deal. Well, it did cost us three credits to buy it as well, but... Speaking of which, I'm so excited for the new corporation in Turmoil that lets you buy cards for just one credit each. Because I, I like having a lot of cards in this game and, you know, messing around with, you know, all my options. So that's, I think that's going to be a favorite for me. 
and you know, I might, I might, um, tomorrow I'm going to Gotcon in Gothenburg in Sweden. And, um, let's see, I'm talking and doing things at the same time, so I'm getting confused. I'm going to pass. Okay, so I'm going to Gotcon tomorrow. If you're in the west part of Sweden, you should really visit Gotcon. It's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's a big convention. It's like, I don't know, 3,000 people or something like that. And there's like people playing role-playing games, miniature games, and all that stuff that I don't really know anything about. But there's a bunch of board gamers as well. And the Frick's bro Brothers are there. Frick's Games are there. So, um, I'm really, I'm really, uh, hoping that I get a chance to try out Termal. I think so, because I think they will have a prototype with them, uh, at the, at the, at Gotcon. And I'm also going to, I'm also going to do an interview of some sort with, with, uh, the Fricks brothers and ask them a bit about the turmoil as well. Okay. Yeah. Um, do, 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 Matt. Oh yeah, Matt is asking if I pl if I play if I do uh, Twitch. I am on Twitch. Uh, uh, Twitch TV slash BGW Niramas. It's a very very small uh, channel so far. There, there's like 50 followers. So please go follow me there. I'm happy for that. I'm trying to get to affiliate so I can start you know earning some few cents from from the ads there. Uh, because I am playing on I am streaming on Twitch and I'm streaming. So far, at least, I'm only streaming digital board and card games. I'm trying to like separate that a bit uh, from YouTube, even though I like to do this this like I'm doing now, the occasional stream of a digital board game on YouTube as well. And especially now that you know Terraforming Mars is on everybody's mind and mine as well. You know, I go around thinking about turmoil and I get excited to play, and so I jump in here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Twitch is. For me, it is a bit confusing because I'm not used to it yet. So, so as a you know a content creator, it's, it's really confusing. I don't really understand what I'm, what I can do on Twitch. There's so much more you can do on Twitch than on YouTube, in a sense, because there's so many like you can, you can you can edit your page and put in like little apps and stuff. I put in some little uh, Draco's own uh, pet. So you can go, uh, it's totally pointless. You can go click the pet and it gains levels. I, I don't understand that at all, uh, but there's a lot of stuff like that that you can do on Twitch, uh, you know, which is kind of fun if you learn it and if you get used to it. I, I can do some pretty fun stuff there that I can't do here. And of course, I could be streaming to both places at the same time, but from where what I heard recently, YouTube doesn't like that. So if you do that and they sort of, you know, spot it somehow or the algorithm spot it, then you, you can get like a strike on YouTube, which is really bad. So I'm, I'm really careful of that stuff uh, because I want YouTube to like me. Um, let's see, let's do this one. I think so too. I think YouTube is superior in overall, absolutely, in building a community and a channel and all that. Uh, one big issue I have with Twitch is that I can't store my videos. They're gonna only gonna be there for like two weeks, I think. And if I get like affiliate, like I get up a level basically, then they I think they're there for like three weeks. But I can't, I mean, the whole base of YouTube is that people can, I make a video today, I put some time into it. I started to put a lot more editing into the videos, a lot more effort into the videos. I just got my new microphone. I hope the sound is better as well. Um, and then, I expect that video to be up there for years to come. So people can go, if, if three years, someone picks up Terraforming Mars and they're like, oh, what is this? This look at, looks like a fun game. They can go on YouTube and check out my Terraforming Mars videos. Twitch is just, I don't know, it's just like two weeks. That's the silly. Um, my random resort is pretty good. Do I have any earth tanks? I'm talking so much that I forget to play. Sorry. <laughs> this is cool, but it's too, way too late. This is a must because we need those oceans. I mean, it's generation number 13. We need things to happen. I probably just, you know, have been rambling about too much and forgot about the game here. And we'll see how it goes. I, ca I can sort of play this game on autopilot these days. But, yeah. <laughs> I do need to consider what I'm doing here so that I don't mess up. So, let's see. We have eight plants. I would like another card. That's good. And production is it's too late for production really. Sadly. We do this one. 
Okay, so we still need, what is it, two more, no. Yeah, two more oceans. Um, this is cool. This is a nice four points and all that, but you need five science tags. We only have one, so that's not going to happen. So let's sell these cards. I like to sell cards that I'm, I, if I'm sure that I'm not going to play them, I like to sell them. So I don't have to see them all the time and get confused. Okay, so we have, we have some money and we have a greenery here. Um, I don't, I'm not worried about the oxygen really. Because that's looking good. But yeah, I think we will make it. I mean, the temperature. We're making 12. We'll do this one, of course. By the way, tell me in the chat, uh, for those of you that have, you know, have been watching my videos for a long time and, uh, you know, been, been around a long time, uh, do you notice any difference? Do you think the sound is better? Uh, you know, I'm, maybe you can't really tell, I don't know. But I, I just picked up this new uh, Yeti microphone that seems like everybody's using, all the streamers and, and all that. And it was a pretty good price as well, so so I picked it up today, and I thought I'll, I'll do some upgrades to the studio as we go. Um, yeah, it's, it's possible that you make more money on, on Twitch than you do on YouTube, I don't know. It's still like, if you're into board gaming, it's never gonna be a lot of money, really. Um, but if you're playing like Fortnite or something like that, then I guess you can make a lot of money on, on Twitch. I don't know how the kids uh, get all their money that they, you know, I don't know, the parents, credit cards maybe. Let's do a city for points because I think we will make it. And I guess the, hmm. Oh, this argument has to be made. Let's see, six, eight. Yeah, let's do this one. Yeah, Mag Magic the Gathering Arena, I can I can assume has a lot of use. But I mean, board gaming in general is this is it's, it's it's a small hobby still. I mean, it's growing. Um, a lot of people are discovering the fun of, of board gaming, but the digital games are of course a lot bigger. And just just yesterday, I was you know at a at a place uh, nearby where I live, and I. I taught some kids uh, how to play board games like a few board games that was really fun and uh, I mean people are picking up on it on it and, and you know starting to play now I am in that situation by the way that I was talking about earlier um, that I have a lot of titanium I'm not really using it for any anything that's that's annoying but of course you got to be lucky as well in this game you need to find the, the right card so that you can use your stuff uh, let's just do this one. Uh, let's put the titanium here at least. So that gets us a point. And let's see. I think we can do this open city here. Because that's two plants, which I like. And wow, we should have put the cities together so they would have benefited from each other. Uh, would have been better to put the first city up here, put a greenery in between them. Yeah, that would have been better. Ah, okay, I'm playing too quick. So now we have to choose where we put the greenery. I was just thinking putting the greenery here for the plants, right? But yeah. Now we will get to 8, which is good. So that's a, a greenery at the end there. And let's see, 3, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we will do this, asteroid. Oh, thank you, Jason. It's good to hear that the sound is good because, like, I don't think the sound was bad earlier, but I felt like I put all this stuff in the studio, like carpets and... and you know different types of clothing basically on the walls and all that so that the sound shouldn't be too um what's it called in english yeah it should it should sound good it shouldn't sound like i mean a tin can basically and i think i got a little bit of that feeling on in with my old microphone that i've been using for like two years that it sounded a bit you know 
I didn't like the echo of it basically. So I think that's better with this microphone. Uh, I have, now this is terrible. I have 21 credits. I have 21 credits and I can't use them for any way to make more points. We already did all this terraforming business. And now I'm sitting here with 11 to titanium and money that I can't use for anything. That's kind of sad. <laughs> That's yeah, but still I'm not going to complain because it is a win. And I think it's a decent amount of points as well. I think so. So yeah, we get to place this final greenery. doesn't matter if which city we go to. Let's just do this because it looks nice there next to the water. And then we are done. So, 57. Okay. Mm, not that great on cities. 88. That 88 is an okay score. Um, it's not bad. Oh yeah, you missed the camera. Yeah, I did some green screen stuff where I have myself on camera in the corner. The thing is though, it's blocking... It's hard to place myself down here without blocking anything uh, in the game. So, uh, yeah, that's a bit tricky. And also, it's nice for me to just do these off-cam things as well and just talk to the microphone because I don't need to fix my hair or, you know, I, anything like that. So, it's uh, and I think it's best for the game. Uh, you don't want to watch me. You want to watch the actual game. So, <laughs> so that was a uh, full uh, solo challenge and we did it, which I'm happy for. Draco seems happy as well. He's sitting here holding the box of the Lord of the Rings Journeys in Middle Earth because the plan to, for tonight was to play Lord of the Rings like crazy because the app on Steam was supposed to come out today. The game was released today and my plan was to just play it all night uh, and you know until I had to go to bed because I'm going to Gothcon tomorrow. But uh, it never showed up. Um, it's not on Steam. Uh, it's on Android but the thing is I don't want to be like if you start playing you have to stay on the same media you can't switch to to something later on because you don't have an account which is stupid uh, they should have an account on on final on fantasy flight so that you can just switch between things because if you're like uh, you're saving the game not in a cloud but you're saving it on the on the um, the phone or the iPad or whatever that you're using so I, so I can't switch to to steam later on yeah, I'm, I'm kind of bummed about that. So anyhow, that's why I'm not playing Lord of the Rings right now. Instead, I thought, let's do a stream. But, um... <laughs> Russian Neuromasses. Wait, can I check that somehow here? Because I'm like, I'm named Neuromas, but that doesn't say that my... Uh, that my... How do I check that? Wait. I think I can, like, check it uh, without... Let's see, can I go, if I go to Steam, um, I think I can check it without, like, I don't want to give away my um, password or anything like that. But I don't think you guys see it, because you guys, no, no, you guys see Terraform more. So I can go to Steam, and I can go to, where is it, this, I, this is like an ID, right, for your account. Um, where is that? Profile. Um, I think there's like an ID for you, like a Steam ID, and that way people can find you and add you. Um, where is that? Ah, this is not that exciting for a stream. Yeah, okay, okay. My ID for Steam is Niramas with with a small. What's it called? Not capital. The other one. Uh, Small letters, and then a one, the number one. Um, oh yeah, I don't know. Maybe there's no personal details. I don't know. I, I haven't checked my Steam uh, profile for ages. Okay, so it should be steamcommunity.com slash id slash niramas1. Um, should be the thing. So I think you can find me that way. Otherwise, we can sort that, sort that in some private message or something. I can share the link as well, I think. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I think you can share the link in somehow. But yeah, you can check that out. Um, koala? Yeah, 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 I have a koala bear. 
Uh, yeah, I have a koala bear as my profile picture. For some reason, I don't know. At some point, I I chose that, I guess. But that's me. You know what? Wait, I can change that so it's much easier for pe people. This is like I had Steam for like, I don't know, 10 years or something. Uh, I never thought about it really. Uh, but I could change that. I'm going to change the profile picture to my logo. So that people that recognize me from uh, YouTube and so on can find me that way. So let me do that right away. And it's going to be much easier to, <laughs> to understand which Neromas is, is me. There we go. Now it's changed. Okay, so I think I'll end the stream right here. I need to go to bed. Oh, cool, Matt. Um, <laughs> Hugo has a panda. Well, that's, you know, they fit together. Panda and koala. Um, yeah, okay. Well, I'm going to end the stream um, because I am. I need to go to bed. I need to be. I'm going to be up early tomorrow, drive to Gothenburg, uh, which is like an hour away from me. And then I, I need to set up everything like I have, you know, my roll up and all the Draco stuff and all that. And then I'm going to host a Keyforge tournament uh, at 1 p.m. local time tomorrow. Um, and that's going to be really fun to host. It's like I think it's already like 20 people that signed up for the tournament. So that's going to be fun. And uh, I hope that I get to play some Keyforge myself as well. So thank you, Jason. Thank you, Matt, and everyone else. Thank you for watching. If you're watching this afterwards, thank you so much for watching and have a great evening, morning, or whenever you're watching. Take care. Bye-bye.